Yes, Pooch? What are you yelling at? Oh my god, I actually look mad. Luna, don't play with my cord, please. She's playing with my charger. Hot coffee. Hot coffee. So I'm just back from the gym. Um, that's why I look like this. And um, yeah, I just decided to keep it very real and not um, go and glam myself up for this. I think it's, yeah, I just couldn't be bothered, really. Really tired after the gym. My butt hurts, but um, that's what you want, really. So. I've tried to film so many times this month and nothing would come out right like I've tried so many times it just it just wouldn't come out right nothing felt like the right springboard to jump off for 2018 and I feel like yes Pooch sorry Luna um, I realized that I need to kind of go back to some things that happened in 2017 in order to authentically move forward with you guys on this channel, I think. Yeah. I just don't know how to start a bunch of new content without first being quite real with you guys. Um, I think this might be why I was struggling so much to film because I knew that I needed to share this. I don't feel obliged to share it, but I just feel like called to share it as if somebody needs to hear this. So yeah, I'm I'm quite intuition based, like I really trust my intuition. So if something's telling me that I need to share this, I'm going to do it. It's no secret to you guys that I have struggled with depression and anxiety in the past. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm really proud that I shared that with you guys. And my how to be happy video, which I'll link for you guys if you want to watch it, that's one of my most successful videos ever and I'm so proud of it and I'm so proud of how many people that it helped. I still get comments on it every day. It's my most like engaged video. People comment on it every day saying how they help, it helped them and I'm really proud of that. So yeah, I'll never regret sharing depression and anxiety stories with you guys. I think it's very important to normalize that kind of stuff and make everyone feel like it's okay. But I have kept quiet about mine since my breakup last year. The last year has been incredibly difficult for me. To be honest, I think I was afraid that if I said it out loud, it would make it real, like, um, like speaking depression's name would make it real. But um, yeah, ignoring it didn't help. It just got worse and it just all caught up on me again. Yeah, it just really caught up on me again. I've been absent and inconsistent online for this very reason. I would just sit in front of the camera and not know what to say. I just think I was in denial about how deep and dark my depression really was. And I just had nothing to give. I was really numb. I was really empty. I just stopped feeling things, I think. And I, I just don't know how else to describe it. I never thought I'd say this out loud let alone online um, but after recent viral videos and discussions on the topic 
I think it's very important to give this issue a face and a name that maybe you might not have associated with it before. I felt sick, shocked and appalled at Logan Paul's video a few weeks back. It shocked and appalled me in ways I can't even describe. It was horrible. I can't even register or explain to you how horrible I thought that was. I've struggled quite a lot with suicidal thoughts over the last few years and I don't want you to be alarmed. The fact that I'm telling you this is such a positive thing, the fact that I can talk to you about it is super positive and I want you to know that I'm okay and I'm dealing with my depression on a daily basis and I'm actively seeking help and actively working on it. So please don't be alarmed by me saying that. I'm not saying that to worry you or as a cry for help. I am working on this and I am dealing with it. Um, yeah, so please don't be alarmed. That's not why I'm saying this. The reason I'm bringing it up is because I want you to know that I didn't give up. And the reason I need you to know that is because one of the biggest reasons that I didn't give up is because of you guys and I don't know how to explain it it's like I just I couldn't give up because if I gave up it would be like telling you that it's okay to give up and I could never do that to you guys I can't give up because I need to show you how important it is to stick with it and be strong and that you can do this the idea or thought of one of you guys feeling like giving up on your life breaks my heart in two. I actually don't even know how to deal with that thought because I genuinely do care about all of you and want the best for you and would hate for you to be feeling alone or like that. I know that I can't give up because I need you to know that you can deal with whatever life is throwing at you, you can 100% do this. I still can't believe that in this day and age, people are underestimating the severity of mental illness and how it impacts people. How is this still such an overlooked topic? I just don't get it. I've unfortunately been in a position more than once where I've reached out to somebody close to me and told them I wasn't okay and they didn't do anything. I don't, I know it's quite hard to know what to do in those situations and I'm not angry with these people for not doing anything and not helping me. Um, I told them I was having these horrible thoughts and they didn't take it seriously. And I'm bringing that up because you need to know that when, when somebody reaches out to you with this stuff or whether it's you, either way, you need to take people seriously. This isn't, something that you overlook and say they're having a dramatic moment or they're having a bad day. Always take people seriously when they tell you they're not okay because in order to tell you that in the first place, it was probably the hardest thing they've ever done. It's very hard to say that you're not okay. That's the hardest part about all of this is admitting that you're not coping and that you're struggling. We shouldn't take these things lightly. If someone tells you that they're struggling, you have to believe them. I'm so proud of myself for not giving up even when I reached out to people and they didn't help me, I'm really, really proud of myself. And if I can do it, that means you can. Even if someone doesn't listen to you, which they should, you can still do this. I'm proud of myself for not giving up, even though these people ignored me, but it breaks my heart to think that one of you guys might reach out to someone and they just don't take you seriously. You just, if somebody comes to you with these issues, please take them seriously. It is, it's not a joke, it's not, attention seeking it's not dramatic it's this is a big deal this is so important and in our generation there are so many people struggling i don't even want to entertain the idea that one of you guys might reach out to somebody and you're overlooked and you don't feel strong enough to continue i want you to know you're not alone that you can do this you are strong enough to keep going and i'm so proud of you for getting up every single day and dealing with what life is throwing at you even if you feel like you can't keep going, you got up today and you did keep going and I'm so proud of you. It's not easy. I'm not gonna sit here and rattle off all of the cliche terms about suicidal thoughts to you guys. Um, you don't wanna hear that. 
I know that this is, it's not so much about wanting to die as it is being really, really tired, emotionally exhausted. And it's not really about wanting to die, it's just being tired, too tired to go on. Those are two completely different things. I know that you're emotionally exhausted and at the point where you feel broken and afraid and scared and like you've just nothing left. I know that it, it sometimes just gets so heavy on your heart that you can't even breathe. But I promise you from the bottom of my heart, there's always a reason to keep going. There's always a reason. If I can do it, you can do it. That's all I can say. I want you to keep going, not for anyone else either, not for me, not for your parents, for you. You need to keep going for you. You are important enough to keep going for. Please be brave. You're here for a reason. I know you might not know that reason yet. I don't really know my reason, but maybe my reason is simply to tell you to keep going and to not give up. Maybe that's my reason. You don't understand your reason yet, but I promise you there is one. You're supposed to be here. You're supposed to keep going and brighter days are ahead of you. Everyone deserves to feel heard and to feel loved and to feel supported, especially when they're going through this stuff. The smallest gesture towards someone around you can have the biggest impact on their life that you wouldn't even believe. Be kind to people, reach out to people, listen to people, check up on people, and don't make assumptions about who might be going through this and who might not be. Depression often wears a very, very convincing mask. It doesn't have an age, a gender, a race, a sexuality. It can hit anyone and even the person you think in your life is the most happy and so bubbly and outgoing, they're often just really good at covering it up. So don't exclude anyone from the kindness and check checking up on them. Everyone deserves that love and attention. I don't really know what else to add here. I just know that I needed to share this. My intuition told me to share it. I needed to share it before I could actually make any other content. It didn't feel right just starting over without telling you where I was and why I was gone. I know so many people might think I was just lazy or I didn't care about my channel, but I can assure you it was not that. Moving forward, I want to share my experiences over the last year, 18 months with you, and some things I'll have great advice on, and some things I'm still learning, and some things we can learn together. But I do wanna share these experiences with you as they're happening as much as I can, rather than feel like I need to have gotten over something before I can share it, I don't need to be an expert on these things as long as I'm discussing how I feel authentically and giving you the, the best advice that I can. I'm going to try and share and document throughout my life rather than feeling like I have to be perfect before I can film. I think that's been my biggest problem is feeling like I had to be out, completely out the end of the tunnel with all of my struggles before I could even make a video because I just felt like a fraud. But actually, I don't think we ever stop learning. I don't think we ever stop growing. So waiting for perf perfection is like a waste of time. I'm looking forward to the future and thank you for sticking around during my absence, absence the ones that did. And I'm so sorry for the inconsistency and absence. I, I really am, but it's something that I couldn't help. Deep thoughts, you are loved. I love you and yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee now. I nearly spilled it.